Here I have a 2008 full-size GM cluster. Uh, the complaint on this one was not only the displays going out, but it was also acting erratic intermittently. Sometimes it would lock up, gauges wouldn't read right. They didn't really have a really good description, but uh, it was just basically erratic and uh, no display. So I kind of went through the normal MOSFET area, but uh, that wasn't the problem. Also, this is a 2008 board revision, not a 2007, so it's slightly different than the normal ones that like to blow up MOSFETs. But after a little bit of troubleshooting, I believe I narrowed it down to the voltage regulator. This is just a simple three pin voltage regulator. You got your 12 volts in on uh, one pin. There's our 12 volts input. Middle pin is ground. Pin number three is supposed to be five volts out. I'm at 1.7. Let's see what happens if we just go ahead and force five volts on it here. This is tied into my uh, power supply set to five volts. Look at that, comes to life. Um, so we have a defective voltage regulator. Let's go ahead and uh, replace that. So I went digging through my parts bin. I didn't have any three pin surface mount voltage regulators, but I do have some 7805. These are some just old school, simple through hole voltage regulators. So what I'm gonna do is check the uh, power consumption of this five volt rail and make sure that I'm not going to exceed uh, what a 705 is good for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it the five volts. Uh, you can see the cluster there came up. It's on and it's only drawing uh, 110 milliamps on the five volt rail. Uh, this is feeding it the 12 volts. It does jump up a little bit on the 12 volt rail when it's turned on by the five volt rail, but Anyways, at only 110 milliamps, an old school 7805 will have no problems handling that. To remove this voltage regulator, I'm going to be using the uh, hot air station. Um, this one's got the, the power needed to uh, get this pulled off of here. The uh, $40 hot air station just doesn't quite have the, uh, the power for these larger... Uh, larger chips and components with heat sinks.
Well, the heatsink soldered nicely. So there it is with a 7805 in its place. Um, turned out good, but let's see if it works. So I've got power supplies turned on and we'll plug it in. Have to wait a few seconds for it to go through its startup. And there it is, back to life, first try. Let's just check out that uh, five volt rail. And we're exactly five volts now. Awesome. All right. Thanks for watching.